Right then, well it's day two. We are uh, currently en route to Twizel Castle, which is slightly more, slightly less known. Um, I think it harks back to not that long ago. I think the original was more medieval, like 1400s. The current ruin, I'm just going to stop for a breath because I'm already knackered. Uh, the current ruin is from the 1760s or something. Uh, and more of a stately or more manor house than a castle. But probably its previous location is why it's referred to as a castle. So, heading up this, this big bank. So I'll be out of breath by the time we get to the top. And then we'll get underway with some shooting and see what everybody else is going to do. See. Right then, welcome to Wiesel Castle, which is that lump of masonry over there. Uh, now, I have to admit, I am, I am the, because uh, I criticise other people for this, but I am a terrible workshop leader today because I have never actually been to this location before. Knew where it was, knew what it looked like, hadn't actually physically been in position for photographs. So. Well, yes, I am, I am a terrible workshop, workshop leader today, but it's a beautiful morning. Um, sky's bright, to be honest, it's short weather. Uh, so we're down, definitely down to the t-shirts. Okay? I think jeans has been a, a bit overkill. But lovely, lovely weather, lovely light. Um, just nice and airy. Obviously it's springs, so everything's fresh and green. Um, so you can get some, but these sycamore things, uh, you know, highlighting with a bit of backlight against the, the darker, darker stonework. So there's lots of, lots of things to try. So, but mainly, me being me, I'm going for the vista look. So I'm thinking immediately, castle on the right hand side of the frame, on the other side of the frame, this, this, this oak tree. Um, so that's probably going to be my composition. I'm going to work on that, uh, moving the camera to isolate the castle and then other direction to isolate the oak tree, slap them together in post and we should have a nice scene. Uh, and obviously that's from this direction. Probably going to do some shooting from the other, the other side as well, which is catching more light at the moment, just so the castle's a bit lighter. It's always better with a bit of light in. So kind of changed directions, mainly I'm moving the camera that direction to get, to be bringing the sky into the left hand side of the, the image so it's kind of isolating the, the castle and then moving the camera that way to bring light into this side of the, the image uh, to isolate the tree because what I want to do is be able to piece the two together in post to create a a very soft, painterly feeling of, you know, of a watercolour uh, kind of image, um, but keeping this middle section of the image quite clear and quite and, and very loose because there's there's not much to it. There's a, there's a fence in front of the castle which I would quite like to be rid of, not by actually cropping it out uh, or, or cloning it out in post, but actually to to, to let the movement get rid of it. Uh, and let the, you know, let the castle speak for itself. Um, what I might actually do is photograph, get a bit even closer to the castle, 
to accentuate its height compared to the height of the tree because from this kind of angle they're roughly the same kind of same kind of height uh, and I would like the castle to be a bit more dominant even though it is off to one side that's kind of what I'm thinking for this composition Right, we moved to the other side of the castle, um, to the what direction are we? The east side, uh, um, and the, the, the sun, since we arrived, the sun has moved further that way, so the light is better on the other side now. And there's a bit more cloud coming as well, um, but I just thought I'd get another range of shots from this side, uh, just to see what the variances are, see if it works better. Uh, just with you know natural movement, moving the camera more in that direction in the majority rather than this way as I have been doing from the other side. Again, from this side, there's a view. It's a it's a, it's a side profile view of the ruins um, with a with a nook tree in the kind of middle distance. So it's it's almost exactly reversed um, this kind of image. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's a lovely morning still. A little bit more cloudy, and there's there's cloud forecast for the rest of the day, so it might get easier, harder to shoot. Depends what you like. Um, I do usually like a bit of catch light, but when there's no catch light, the subject's always the same. So, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, and yeah, but nice to be shooting something different for a change, something I haven't shot before. Well, I dare say that is location number one ticked off the book for today's um, today's day out. Um, so, I think spot lunch, and then uh, off up to my one of my favourite spots, uh, up to Norham, to see what the views are like there today. Probably just like every other day, uh, but it's always a pleasure to go there. Um, as if, if you've seen one of my very early videos um, about about turners of you of Norham uh, so no doubt we'll be down there for another view of it <laughs> and up also into the castle I would hope so yeah be good looking forward to that part definitely even though I've very much enjoyed um, taking a look at uh, Twizel here as I've never shot it before so yeah nice experience uh, good to have plenty of discussions with the attendees it's always been uh, one of the best parts of it uh, and also managed to grab a few shots for myself and of course some video for you guys at home as well so right onwards to the next location all right guys andy here from the future just catching up with video editing uh, i decided to split this video into two because because to be honest i don't particularly want you watching 20 minutes of me rambling so you might as well get it over in one fell swoop of uh 
of, of 10 minute bites. Uh, so hopefully the you've gotten this far in the video. If you have, thank you so much for watching. Um, the next one should be really good. Some really good images have come out of it uh, from Norham Castle. Uh, really proud of a few of them. So do check out that one when it comes out. And, and yeah, thanks very much for watching so far. So just remember, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Leave the video a like and all that stuff. Follow me everywhere you can find me. There's a link tree description down below. Check us out. Check all the links out on there. And yeah, thanks very much for your support. And we'll catch you in the next one, which kind of looks a little bit like this. Right then, welcome to Norham Castle.